Hey guys, we are going to make a little ladybug garden for one of our YouTube friends. It's going to be a present for her. The little catch here is all these items are from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using. So it's going to be a Dollar Tree ladybug garden. I'll see y'all in a so minute. I'm going to keep you guys down here. You won't be able to see my head, but I want y'all to focus here on what it is I'm going to be doing. I got this little heart tray from Dollar Tree. I got the little spongy brushes from Dollar Tree. I actually got these, oops, there were my ladybugs. These little tiny, tiny ladybugs from Opinionated Horsewoman. They're so itty bitty. But then I also found these ladybug buttons and I'm gonna be using them. And then I have all these little fairy garden items. Look at these, they're so cute. That's not all. We got little shrubbery. These are the, fa the uh, faux moss bushes. It's cute. Nice. I found a little pathway. And then this adorable little fairy gar fairy on a swing. That's so cute. All this stuff. Oh, here's one more archway, guys. And then I also found this bag of moss. So, we're going to put all all this together after I paint this box. Now, I did not get this paint from Dollar Tree, but they do have paints available there. I just wanted this specific color. It is called Kelly Green, and we're going to paint the box with it. Got my handy dandy plate out and my sponge, and now we're going to zoom through it all, you guys, so I don't have you here for over an hour making a little gift. All right, guys, enjoy the video.
So we're gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna put a clear coat over it. I chose to use acrylic paint because it's very washable off your skin. And I don't like wearing gloves. It Some of the latex ones it makes me break out a little bit and the real powdery and dry my hands out, blah de blah blah I could wear gloves and use whatever paint I want and then of course put a clear coat over it and it would be just fine. But I don't like it. I like to use my hands. I like to feel the texture and stuff. The reason why I chose to use a spongy brush is because it gets down in this wood grain and it's easy to get in these corners as you guys see. So we're gonna let this dry for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna spray a clear coat on it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I went ahead and sprayed the clear gloss on. I forgot to film it, I'm so sorry. But I wanted to show you guys an easy way to lay your items out that you're actually gonna put in little projects to make sure that they fit correctly. So I'm gonna flip you around here in just a second and let you see that I already laid out the things that I'm gonna fit into this little box just to make sure everything fits in there that I want for sure in there. Okay, so here's my little box that we're gonna use to make her a little shadow box like Ladybug Garden. And then here, I went ahead and laid the stuff out that I for sure want in here. Now, all this is going to fit in here, but I still have these two little, ex three little extra things over there to use if I still have room. And then there's all my little ladybugs. But this is just a little way to make sure that, you know, it's all going to fit in here like it's supposed to. There you go. Now you can see a little bit better. Now time for the hot glue gun. Let's go to fast forwarding again. See y'all in a minute. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to glue the items down in first and then I'm going to put the moss all around it. That way I don't have to use so much hot glue glu gluing the moss down. And this way when you put them down flat like that, they'll for sure stand up flat and not have all the rocky bumpy surfaces as it would be on top of the moss. All right guys, see you in a second. So what happened was I did not glue this pathway up underneath the bench enough to leave room to put this down flat in the box enough. So I am going to have to put the moss under the bottom of this and then glue this one on top of it. All right, let's get back to the others. It'll still work out just fine though. Alright guys, here's what we have so far. Look, she swings. That's so cute. Here's our little water fountain and our little moss bushes. And then our path and our bench. And there's another bush over there. I think I am ready to start laying down the moss. And then I can go ahead and put this other archway in there. Or maybe I'll put this archway in there. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get to it. I also still have my water fountain, but it's a little too big to go in here, so I'll make another fairy garden or something like that with it, which I am still working on my fairy garden, so that would actually be perfect. All right, loves, I'll see y'all in a second. Oh, a little tip. When you're using a glue gun, don't worry about the little stringies of hot glue that come off. When they cool down, you can pick them right off. Also, when you're applying it to the back of something, after you get your glue squeezed on there, if you'll just do this little flip, It'll keep a lot of those stringies from happening. You won't have those big goops of glue. All right, let's, I'll see you in a second again.
All right, so I know you guys see me pressing, pressing, pressing this moss down in here, and this is why. Uh-oh, I need to glue that down a little bit better. Look, this moss just falls everywhere, so I wanted to get the hot glue up above it to kind of hold it in there a little bit better. All right, I'm going to glue this one back in. See you all in a second. All right, guys, here's what we got so far. All secured in there again. <laughs> the moss is actually staying in there because I did that little press in motion and got it all pretty much covered. Now it does still look loose, but that's because I shoved it down in there and it's all gooped up on top of each other. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this little pond over here in the corner, right here in front of the ferry swinging. And then go ahead and add on, I think this is the one we'll use right here at the end of the pathway. And then we'll start gluing on our ladybugs. Okay guys, we're back to it. So I'm going to have to add a little bit more moss at the end of this pathway to make a level setting place for this to be able to glue on and then we can add in our ladybugs.
Okay guys, so what I did is I put the hot glue all over the button spot where you're supposed to sew the buttons on so that I can build up a surface to be able to set him down right here in this little chair in the corner. That's what I'm doing right now, is just letting that cool off so I can keep building up a flat surface so that he will glue down real safe and secure. Here is the ladybug garden with the Dollar Tree items. I am going to go find a white Sharpie and then a red and black Sharpie. And I'm going to put some little ladybugs around here. Just make some finishing touches. And I'll let you guys you all see it. And then we'll show the finished ladybug garden. I'll see you all in a second. So I went ahead and got my Sharpies out, you guys. Which I just learned they do not draw very good on painted products. And I can't find a white Sharpie, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the ladybug eyeballs. And I also wanted to fill in their eyeballs on here just to make them stand out a little bit more. But I can't find a white Sharpie. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up here, and I'm going to put our friend's name, which I'm not going to show you guys that. So after I get it done, I'm going to cover that part up and then just show you the finished product. So I don't want you all sneaking over and telling her that I made it for her. So I'm going to finish this up. Just a little bit of artistry on the outside of it, and I'll see you all in a minute. So I found these cute little letter stickers and I'm gonna go ahead and spell out my friend's name and put it on here and then I'll show you all the finished product. All right, you guys, it is done. I am so stinking proud of this. Look at this little cutie dirty. Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? All from the Dollar Tree. Look at those little boogers and the little fairy. It is from that side. You can see the archway and the other fountain. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Isn't that so cute? She's gonna love it. I'm super proud of this. All right, my loves, that is the end on how to make the little uh, ladybug garden from the Dollar Tree items. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more craft videos, just let me know. Like my little letters that I make with the flowers, and then I actually just made one for the beautiful debutante, and I've got to get it out in the mail today, and it doesn't have, any, well, it's got little tiny flowers on it, two of them, but a bunch more sparkle and glitz and glam and gems on it. So if y'all would like to see more crafts videos from me, just let me know, and I'll start putting them up more. All right, let's, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.